Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Evan and today I'm going to bring you a, a speaker box refurbish. Um, this is a community speaker. Now, some of you guys might know Community. They're kind of an older brand and stuff. They still I think they I believe they still make speakers and everything. Um, this is a Community and this is uh the DN D12. As you can see, it's got a couple of quarter inch. Uh, it has an LED light. Has um, it looks like it has a, a Neutrik input as well. So uh, and here's the crossover unit. This is um, a two-way crossover system. It actually looks like this crossover is well made. Uh, you know, it has some nice parts in it and stuff. Uh, it's a little old school, you know, but it looks like it's pretty well made. Now, uh, this is actually a monitor, so uh, we're not pumping out like an enor enormous amount of sound or anything like that from, from this speaker, you know, but it's got two angles. It's got this angle here, right? I think that yeah, looks like about a 35 maybe, or um, and then this looks like a 45 degree angle, so you can adjust your angles, right? I don't know if you saw that. I, I see how you, you can adjust your angles. Uh, but this this box needed a refurbish. Hang on one second. I'm sorry. The guys, uh, the band members that were using this sucker, um, I guess dropped it really hard, and the magnet fell off the back. Now, some of you guys who are like, you know, audiophiles, will look at this magnet and say, well, what the hell? It doesn't even have like a a, uh, a vent for cooling on the back. Well, yeah, this is an old speaker, guys. This is uh, kind of old technology and stuff. This looks like a stamped um, stamped cone. Um, you know, you have an accordion um, surround on it. But if any of you guys know know anything, the movement regarding speakers, the movement between your uh, voice coil and your voice coil gap shouldn't have any sound at all. Can you hear that? There shouldn't be any sound at all. And, and these guys were in a jam. They just threw the magnet back on. I don't think they realized just how bad shape this thing was. So um, let's see. There's the magnet. You can see this thing just fell right off the back. Looks like it was just glued on. So today, guys. Oh, yeah. Another thing about this um, box is that what I'd like to do is actually change out uh, the tweeters because these are piezo tweeters. There are two of them. So they're off axis as well. So like, you know, um, you'll have one sound in one direction, one sound in another direction. But they're piezo tweeters, guys. And piezo tweeters sound like shit. They're always raspy and you're always going to have problems with feedback with piezo tweeters. What I wanted to do was actually adjust the crossover unit so that I could put a uh, a different cone. Like, a you know, a, a different uh, cone like this in this speaker with a compression driver on the back. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be doing that because the ports, the tuning ports for the woofer are, are on, they're built into the cone. So I can't do that. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, you know, I just, I, I bought a new speaker for it. It's an MCM 552962 350 watts max power. They're definitely going to have a lot better sound coming out of this thing because of this new woofer. Um, and I have a program that will uh, check the specs on a phantom speaker and it'll give me what I need as far as uh, uh, it, it'll it'll allow me to match the parameters of that speaker. So when I buy a new one, uh, the, the tuning ports and the box itself will will uh, um, coincide. So yeah, I'm going to put this thing back together, put the crossover back in here. Um, yeah, dual piezo horns there it's not the best uh best kind of speaker for sound but put it back together and then uh, we'll have a final product yeah, uh, here is the woofer that i'm going to be replacing today it's at mcm it's got the accordion edge really really feels nice man like this 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 speaker feels really really nice it's a die cast um speaker so it's not stamped you know it's die cast uh, let me show you the bottom of it real quick hang on All right, and this is yeah. So it's an MCM 
uh, it's good. It says audio select 350 watts, 8 ohm model 552962. Wow, what a nice looking replacement speaker, guys. I've seen top hundreds and hundreds of speakers. This looks like a really nice replacement. You know, it's got the uh, the push pin uh, terminals. I think this thing's gonna work out nice. We'll, we'll find out. Sometimes the speaker looks great, but may not sound that great. So we're gonna find out now.